Hey everyone, I'm Rez from Immutable X, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how you can start to use Immutable X's new NFT bridge, which bridges your assets from L1 Ethereum to L2 Starknet. Before you can bridge your project from L1 Ethereum to Starknet, you need to actually have a project on L1 Ethereum. To get started, I would recommend the official ethereum.org documentation, which has robust guides on how you can actually deploy an NFT on Ethereum. Next, you need to have your NFT project deployed on Starknet. For that, I recommend this step-by-step -step tutorial written by myself, which walks you through how you can deploy your NFT contract on Starknet. Now we're ready to get started. We have both an NFT contract deployed on Ethereum, and we have an NFT contract deployed on Starknet. So the first thing we're going to do is actually register our contracts on the bridge registry. The address of this will be made available. We're going to head, go ahead and look at the contract, where we can see we can read as proxy and we can write as proxy. We're going to want to write as proxy here. We can see there's a function register token. We're going to go ahead and add our L1 token address and our L2 token address. Once we've pasted these in, we can go ahead and click on write. This will prompt us to sign a transaction using MetaMask. I've already signed this transaction, but you go ahead and sign it. Once you've signed that transaction, you can actually check if it's been successfully registered. I'm going to copy this L1 token address and click on read as proxy. Then I'm going to paste it here. I can see that the result of this query is the decimal representation of the hex we pasted in this here. Great, now we've registered our contract. The next thing we're going to do is make sure that your NFT contract allows the Immutable X bridge to mint NFTs on your behalf. This is necessary because when we're bridging NFTs from L1 to L2, our L2 bridge needs to be able to mint the NFTs on L2. For this, you need to provide the Immutable X NFT bridge the appropriate permissions. This can be done in multiple ways. If you're following along with the NFT template, this can be done quite easily by adding, by simply running npm run add minter with the appropriate configuration variables. Alternatively, you could use Voyager to add the appropriate permissions required. It's important that you use the Immutable X NFT presets. This is because the Immutable X preset includes additional functionality to delegate permissions for things such as minting and burning NFTs. For example, if I wanted to allow another contract to mint, I could simply grant the minting role to that contract. In this case, I'm granting the minting role here, and I'm giving it to the L2 NFT bridge. You can do so using Voyager if your account has the appropriate permissions. Once you've granted the minter role, make sure to also grant the burner role. If you're using the NFT template, this can be done quite simply. If you're following along using Voyager, you can get the burner role by clicking on read contract, scrolling down and clicking get burner role. You can then query the result and copy it. Once copied, you can then go to write contract. You can then grant role and paste the previously copied role. The account will then be the L2 NFT bridge which will be provided. If your account has the appropriate permissions, you can then execute transact and this will pass. In my case, I'm not using a browser wallet for my primary account. Awesome, now your token holders are ready to deposit their NFTs. I'm going to go ahead and mint myself a few NFTs. Great, now that our transaction's completed, we can see that the NFTs from 31 to 40 have been minted. Now, I'm going to go ahead and approve these NFTs for deposit. I'm currently viewing the contract for my NFT on L1, and I'm going to approve the L1 NFT bridge contract Great, now that it's been approved, we're ready to deposit our NFTs. 
let's go ahead and go to the bridge contract. I've opened up the bridge contract in Etherscan. The address of this will be provided. The bridge contract on L1 has a few key functions. One of them being deposit. This is the one that's most relevant to us. It requires a token address, token IDs, and the L2 address of the recipient of the L of the tokens. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste my L1 NFT address. I'm also going to pass in the token IDs. Recall that I minted token IDs 31 through to 40. I'm only going to deposit 31, 32, and 33. Now, the address of the account, which I want to receive the NFTs on, on L2. This can be retrieved from my Argent X wallet. If the recipient of the L2 NFTs differs, feel free to change it to whatever you would like. Great, now we can see that we've successfully deposited. Now, we're going to wait to see that our NFTs are minted on L2. To see this, we're actually going to view our L2 NFT bridge using Voyager. Let's go ahead and open that up. Here I'm just pasting the address of the Voyager L2 bridge address. This will be provided. We can see an invoke function. When did this occur? 12 hours ago. This is not what we're looking for. We're looking for an invoke function that occurred more recently. What that would imply is that the L2 Starknet sequencer is actually calling invoke on our L2 NFT bridge. We're going to wait until that transaction appears. Awesome, having waited a few minutes, we can see that the invoke transaction we were expecting has appeared. Let's go ahead and click on that transaction hash. We can see that it occurred about three minutes ago. Now that we know that the deposit has successfully executed on L2 as well, let's go ahead and look at our Argent X wallet. We can see three collectibles, the collectibles that we expected to be deposited. Awesome, now we've seen how we can take an NFT from L1 Ethereum to L2 Starknet. Amazing, we've done this for the testnet and we're looking for feedback. We want you to look at our contracts and see if you can find any issues and we'd also love to hear your feedback on how we can improve the user experience. Of course, this isn't currently using a front end, so everything has to use block explorers, but we are looking into that as a possibility in the future, should we see sufficient demand. Thanks for watching everyone, and make sure to join the Immutable X Discord, and specifically the Starknet channel, if you have any questions or you see any issues while trying to use the Immutable X NFT bridge.